So I'm going to come out and say it right now, and as probably the title also suggests, <laughs> most likely and bluntly, this show's romance is already better than 90% of other anime's romance. It's already better than 90-95% of a man because it's actually going through what a romance is. It's actually showing the characters together, and I think we all could agree that 90-95% to of anime, even if they do end up having romance, it's not till the end. They don't establish it early on. And what that doesn't allow us as, as the viewers to see, one is, how are they as a couple? How do they interact? And that's exactly what we got to see during this episode. You know, from the dialogue, which we'll get into, to the one scene where they're actually laying by each other, which is actually the thumbnail of this video. That Those kind of things we don't get to see in anime because they never dive into it. They always wait till the beginning. All they do is hint at it. All they do is provide us with, un, you know, romantic undertones. It never actually goes the full mile. It only goes a quarter of it. And then all of a sudden, it just magically runs the last three-fourths of the mile in a dead sprint. You know, and it gets there. It gets to the conclusion conclusion at the very end, of, very end of the show so this show is already better than 90 to 95 percent of other romances and i know there's some other good great romances out there that do a good job of romances like golden time and so on and so forth you know etc all watch those shows and i cannot wait to watch those shows but this show's already established a couple it's gonna go and show us the struggles that phone call is probably the beginning of the struggles of the relationship they haven't seen each other for like a week and now she's gotta go on another business trip i mentioned this in i think one of my other reviews i'm pretty sure that it would be hard to date someone like my so and it's gonna be hard for my to date someone in general so you could most definitely see these struggles of what this relationship could become so i mean relationships aren't the only thing that can make you happy you have to do things that make you happy as well so other than that though them openly talking about just like making out and stuff like that it's just so it's something that you didn't expect from my i mean mine's just it, she's all about it like she's to openly talked about said yeah we'll do that later and all this kind of stuff so it's kind of funny to see her you know her dialogue and the scene where they're laying on the floor together and she's like listen you'll get better at this I'll, I'll let you practice until you are better so don't worry about it and just hearing my you know those words coming out of my mouth is something that's just kind of funny and I do love the wordplay within this show I mean especially when she's like stomping on his foot and you know her little his little you know Sakuta's little sister she's kind of like what's wrong he's like my love is being tested right now so I mean, even the phone conversation where the manager calls my, and she's like, I'm my boyfriend's. And, she, you know, the manager's like, oh, okay, yeah, wait a minute, what did you just say? You know, those kind of things are fun. And this show is able to do those things once again because it all comes full circle and it all, you know, revolves around the fact that they established a romance early. And 90%, and 90 to 95% of shows don't do that. And we're about to see a show that someone may say is has cliche things. Sure, it's in the school setting. Of course, it's going to have some cliche things, aspects. But the thing, it's like My Hero Academia. It's a shonen. It's another cliche shonen. It's a new, actually, kind of idea with the hero kind of, you know, theme, right? But why is it so much better? Because it goes deep into things. It fully, it fully goes into cliches. It sees a cliche, I'm going to attack it head on. I'm not just going to cover the surface and the basics, you know, the basics of that cliche. Romance. Is it a cliche for a romance series? Sure. Sure it is. But what does the show do? It goes all the way through the cliche. It doesn't go halfway into it. It doesn't go one fourth of the way into it. It goes. It dives deep into it in order to, you know, establish new things, you touch new things within the cliches in and of itself. And that's kind of what makes a good show: attack a cliche and explore the cliche to its full extent. Don't be afraid to go that full one hundred percent. And that's like once again, romances always fail to, seem to fail to do that. They. Well, they show us the surface of the romance, right? They give us the romantic undertones. They have the characters clearly liking each other, but they either want to make it a Sunday routine with the female character, or both the characters are just, someone always interrupts them every time they're about to say, hey, I love you, you love me. And this shouldn't do that. And now we're about to see a different kind of romance. We're about to see something that has way more originality than other romances. I mean, it's a, it's a rom-com supernatural theme anyway, so I mean, those are the ideas, right? <laughs> so it's it's going to be different anyways because it's supernatural within the whole you know concept and or plot right the narrative has that within it has that supernatural um idea concept so of course it's going to be different but i'm just saying it's going all the way through it it's establishing the relationships early and that's why it's going to be even better and i think we all are kind of mesmerized with what by by Sakuta and Mai every time they're on screen. I think that's just kind of obvious. But hopping into the main thing for this episode, and hopefully you're still here. I didn't rant too long. Um, Futaba has a 
clone, has a lookalike, has a twin, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know what you guys want to call it, but she has one. Teleportation quantum, or quantum teleportation is the... Um, the uh, idea that Futaba came up with, and it's information can travel and create someone else. Like I, I don't know the whole theory. I don't know the whole scientific theory. I'll have to look into it for sure. But um, it seems as if there's something to this. You know, there's a Shoko girl that came out of nowhere, which there has to be something with this. Why is there someone that looks just like the other girl and has the same name? That's kind of weird, but now she's younger. Why, on top of that, um, is the other Futaba girl here? You know, those two things are going to definitely... They're definitely going to involve one another. And the twin one that has the hair down in the contact, she does state that, I think I know why I'm here. I think I know why there's two of us. And you believe the lie that she said she didn't know? No. Nah, I think it all relates around Sakuta's friend. And honestly, Sakuta's friend, to me personally, I feel as if she most definitely needs to be with... Um, or she. I think Futaba definitely needs to be with Sakuta's friend, for sure. 100%. I absolutely, positively do believe that. So... On top of that, I do got to say, I think Sakuta's friend's girlfriend is just, she's just not a really good person. I mean, she judges Sakuta for what reason? I mean, what? why? You know what I mean? She's over, she's, this, you can be protective, you can get jealous, but she crosses a line. She's arrogant. She's stupid, dumb, and foolish, you know, Sakuta's friend's girlfriend. So, I... Uh, yeah, she's, I mean, she's just one of those people. Yeah, maybe she's good. You're, she makes you happy whenever she's with you. But those little things add up, man. You know, the little things, the childish things, the just inappropriate things to do, right? Freak out about being friends with Sakuda. Who cares? He's not a bad person. What does he do? He's odd. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things to me personally. So at the end, we also do get to see that Futaba in the ED sequence, she is actually walking towards Sakuda and his friend. So I wonder what's going to go on there. I'm really interested in that actually. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I do got to say this as well. Sakuda is every guy ever. Guys and girls who watch this video, we do. We, we may be dumb. We may be stupid. We may be lustful. But at the end of the, end of the day... We are also nervous at times. We are also naive at times. <laughs> um, I mean, the list goes on. Some, you know, every guy, even the ones that are the most bold, do have that some that slight restraint in them, that slight nervous. You know, they are slightly nervous somewhere in there. So, as always, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. You guys have been hexed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow Twitter X25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.